A leader as a noun is defined as a person or thing that holds a dominant or superior position and is able to exercise a high degree of control or influence. But to lead as the verb, um, that is the action of leadership. And this is in part defined by to guide on a way, or especially in going, going in advance, uh, or to direct on a course in a direction. I think that that is the way we're talking about leadership today. That's why we're here today. I think that we need more of the verb and less of the noun. The noun is stagnant. We can't say we are leaders and leave it at that. We actually need to, to lead. I want to know the answer to what will our co-ops lead us to? So over the next three years, I'd like to see our co-ops actually using the cooperative structure as a strategic advantage in their marketplace rather than a clunky but well-intentioned hindrance to our business. So what does that really mean? First, it means no more excuses. I call that the killer butt. Every time you say, I know we need to grow, to change, uh, to get more effective, to get leaner, uh, to compete better, but, and then you fill in the blank with whatever you say after that. That's the killer butt, and it's killing our co-ops. If it's something that you need to do, then no more excuses. We really just, we really need to do this now. Okay, so, so how do we do that? That's a challenge. Well, it starts with being strategic. Making hard choices, prioritizing, being better at communicating, being a disruptor of doing things the way they've always been done. So one example with social media, uh, because I work, I work with social media and, and cooperatives every day, um, I see um, there is an opportunity for cooperatives to use social media in a way no one else is using it. Financial institutions today are using Facebook to allow people who live in countries where there aren't uh, physical branches to log in and to make payments to other people and to transfer funds through their Facebook account. So why can't co-ops start using Facebook for voting, uh, for, for gathering feedback, for, for input, for surveys, to connect with their owners on a whole new level? There's 1.4 billion people who use Facebook today. That's one in seven people on the planet. So if you're thinking, though, we don't have the skills, or what is the cost to figure this out? What is the ROI of figuring all that out? You also need to take into consideration the opportunity cost of not doing this. What about attracting and retaining uh, talent to our co-ops, uh, the GMs that are all going to be retiring over the next five to ten years. If we're not using social media for recruiting efforts, then we can pretty much assume that uh, the, we're letting the best, the best candidates go to our competition and do really good jobs for our competition. Ninety percent of all job uh, searches begin on social media. How about using new social tools like uh, Snapchat to attract younger uh, audiences. Again, there's, there's a disruptive financial uh, organization that's starting to use Snapchat to reach out to young people at the time that they're filling out their FAFSAs with advice, guidance, and information to the right people at the right time. That's what food co-ops can be doing. They can be providing education using the tools that they're, they're not yet members are, are already on today. But if we feel like, well, we don't know how to do that, we don't know uh, why it would apply to our business, this is the time to go out and figure it out, like any other business would do. Uh, learn a new skill and, and figure out how to do that, because that's what people are doing. That's where, the, that's where the, the younger market is. So we have to go out and find them. So what does it look like to be a courageous leader? Uh, to be a courageous leader, our co-ops will need to stop following and start really leading. And someone needs to go first and trust their own process and take that leap and, and, and move forward. 
We've already got the pieces that dreams are made of. There's no other organizations out there that have staff that are as passionate about what they do. Our competition certainly doesn't have uh, people connected to their mission like we do. I spent a day recently with some Organic Valley farmers, specifically the, the grass-fed farmer, milk farmers. Uh, they were told about 10 years ago that what they're doing is irrelevant and it's never going to work. A lot of them, they were so passionate about what they did that they just kept going and they saw that it was going to work. And today, Organic Valley can't keep their product on the shelves. River West Public uh, Co-op in, in Milwaukee, they were told that they would go out of business in the first six months. They were told that they would collaborate themselves right out of business. And today, they're celebrating five years of building community, one drink at a time, as they say. Bold leadership at Willie Street this year has taken many forms. Knowing when we have things to fix and things to learn, taking the time to fix them and get better at them, learning to improve our cultural competencies, and, and measuring where we are now and getting better at it, and, and knowing where we hope to be and figuring out, as hard as that is, how to do that. Also, when an opportunity that didn't at first look like us came to us, uh, bold leadership is, is looking into it and understanding what that could be for the community. Right now, as we speak, we're learning more each day about an opportunity right here in Madison to serve a community that doesn't look anything like our existing communities. It, and we have, we have to work hard to figure it out. But in the end, it could be a big win for our business and for an even bigger win for the community. And that's something that I'm really proud of because it's because of who we are that it could be such a big win for the community. So I ask you to think about what are the things that push you as a cooperative and that you can honestly say in the end, you stretched yourself and are better for. I'm a runner and that kind of competition, it really encourages me to be a better me, to push myself to do better when I see success of other people. So let's put these courageous leadership stories together and, and put it out there for others to be inspired by. Just this morning, I started a Facebook group called Cour Courageous Cooperative Leadership. So go out there and look for it on Facebook and join this group. It's a group I just, I just put it together and it's intended for sharing our courageous leadership stories uh, from all of our cooperatives for others to gain inspiration and motivation to stretch and push ourselves farther and to make our co-ops better. To help support each other in our in our cooperative structure as a strategic advantage and in our marketplace. And I hope that this would be a place that journalists and media can go and get those kind of great examples of what cooperatives are doing and the impact that they have in the, in the, in the communities that they're in. And it's something that we can use to pitch to our own local media and, and to share ourselves what cooperatives are doing and that we can all be the ambassadors of the cooperative movement. So, Please check out that Facebook group. Cooperative, uh, it's called Courageous Cooperative Leadership. Join the group and share your stories there. Thank you.